Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually put images in your emails. I'm going to do it uh, using uh, Outlook, and I'm also going to do it using Gmail. So first, let's start with the Outlook. So let's say, for example, I'm in Outlook. I'll say new. All right, and if you notice off to the side, I have these two images. All right, so you notice you'll have, you know, you put in, you fill in the information to whoever it's going to, what the subject is. And then you basically just drag and drop the image in there. So I'm going to use the phone version and just drag it and drop it right into the field. Now, if you notice, when it comes in, in Outlook, it's going to come in at actual size. And you can see that's gigantic. But what you can do is once you tap on it, you're going to notice that you'll get these um, anchor points on all four sides. And once you start to pull them in, all right, it, it can get a little tedious, but you just pull it in. All right, you can actually size it down to any size that you want that you think is comfortable uh, in that field, all right? And then once you've done that, okay, you can then, you can even still type in it. So let's say, for example, if I wanted to um, uh, put some information in here, I can put my cursor at the top and I could say, you know, you know, whatever, hello, how are you, whatever. I mean, whatever, I'll put it in there. But again, this is how you can actually input text as well as input the graphic, all right? Now, uh, let's take a look at the other option, which would be, say, uh, uh, Gmail. So I'm going to go over here. I have it already set up. I'll bring Gmail in the picture. All right, so now let's say, for example, same deal. Um, I had something in there already, but I want to show you from, from start. You can just do the, the exact same thing. You, can, you don't want the attachment option because what it's going to do is it's going to try to attach the file. It's going to ask you to find something. You click on it. Uh, you know, you can say open and what it's going to do is going to give you an attachment, which is what you don't want. All right. So I'm just going to get that out of there. What you want is you want the image the, where it says insert photo. Again, this is Gmail. I'm sure Yahoo has something very similar. Uh, you would click on that and it's going to ask you to find and, you know, it'll probably take you to somewhere in your photo album to find a picture, put it in there. Or guess what? Same thing. Drag and drop. Once you bring it over, you see drop file here. You can drop it there. And the interesting thing about Gmail, and hopefully you might see the same thing in um, in uh, Yahoo, is when you tap on the image, you're going to have these options at the bottom. So let's say, for example, the first option says best fit. So it's going to bring it in at what size it thinks will be a, a good fit for your, uh, for your email. Then you have small, which, of course, will make it small. And then when you tap on it, you can make it original size, which, as we know, is gigantic. All right. So let's say, for example, I'm going to scroll down to where it has the, those options. All right. And I'll say best fit. And then same thing. You can just tap it and just grab the corners and you can make it any size you want. OK. Um, so that's basically how you can place images. All right. In your email, uh, in your email server. Next video is I'm going to show you what I, how you can probably make this link. So that now uh, it'll, pro you know, you can you can do something where uh, the user can tap either on an item of text and go to the website, or they can actually tap on the image and go to the website. So that will be coming up next.